This is what I learned in America. <laughs> when you hear the word neighbor, what do you think? Who is your neighbor? Someone who lives in the same apartment or just someone who lives next to you? That's true as a definition, but I realize it is just a definition. Last March, I went to America. During the trip, I had many new experiences. Feeding the homeless and making snack packs are two activities that really made an impression on me. First, in Florida, I fed the homeless. Before doing this, my question was, what is feeding the homeless? I didn't know why we did this type of activity in America. We made almost 100 sack meals and brought them to a park. There were some homeless people, but the number was much fewer than we had expected. I was a little nervous because I had a negative image of the homeless. In Japan, we don't usually talk to the homeless. On the contrary, we often stay away from them. So, I was surprised to see my American friends. They willingly talked to the homeless and tried to understand their situations. When I gave the meal to them, I only said, here you are, and they said, thank you. Although it was only two sentences, we could talk. The next morning, I went to another place where more homeless people lived. There were a lot of tents and facilities for the homeless. They were protected and taken care of. After Florida, I went to another state, South Dakota, for one week. In South Dakota, I had a chance to have another valuable experience. Look at this picture. What do you think this is? This is a donation post. Then, who is the donation for? Unfortunately, it is for children. I heard that many children in America do not have enough to eat. I was sad to know that, but I found out that they are also supported. There was a loom for keeping the donated foods and making snack packs. In the room, there were so many donations from so many people. Fortunately, we could help make the snack packs for the children. I was very really surprised that even the bags to put the meals in were donated. In Japan, the government gives some money to help the poor, but people don't usually help them individually unless they are relatives. That might be because the situation in Japan is not so bad. However, if there were many homeless people and poor children around us, would we help them? I don't think so. I've heard the typical Japanese way, way of thinking about this. Once we help the poor, they will know the feeling of being satisfied. So, unless we can keep helping them permanently, we shouldn't help them at all. This is really a sad idea, but I think it's true. Then, why do Americans help the poor? Well, most Americans are Christian and they believe the revelations from God. They have many amazing beliefs 